नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श सु वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू सिक्स पार्ट ऑफ थर्टीन चैप्टर वन विथ नेम नेम ऑफ सिक्स साइंस इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द पोल्स ऑफ द मैग्नेट इन विच वी डिड एन एक्टिविटी ऑल्सो आयन फिलिंग स्टिकिंग टू ए बार मैग्नेट the ion we used ion fillings and the bar magnet and we come to know that the ion fillings were sticking in the bar magnet at the ends at the two ends of the bar magnet and from there we can say that okay poles of the bar magnet uh, said to be near these ends means near the end of the bar magnet Uh, where the strong magnetic field is available, and we can say in another way that at the end of the bar magnet, strong magnetic field is available, and that is what we say a pole of a magnet. Then, uh, in this part, let's discuss finding directions, which is available on the page number one hundred and twenty-nine. Open your textbook, page number one hundred twenty twenty-nine, and let's go for uh, finding directions. Magnets were known to people from ancient times. We come to know that magnets were known to people from ancient times, many many years before. Many properties of magnet were also known to them. As they know the magnet, then the many property of the magnet also they know. uh you might have read many interesting stories about the use of magnets one such story is about an emperor in china see there are many stories about magnets but one such story is there about the king of china named huan ti named huan ti it is said that he had a chariot With a statue of a lady that could rotate in any direction, the king was holding a chariot with a statue of a lady which could which could rotate in any direction. The statue of a lady on the chariot was rotating, can rotate in any direction. It had an extended arm as if it was showing the way. it has an extended arm you are something like this as it showing the way you can see figure 13.8 there is a chariot there is a statue of lady and showing the way something like that extended hand the statue had an interesting property now the story actually is about the statue it has an interesting property it would rest in such a position that its extended arm always pointed towards south okay see let it be the chariot is going in any direction chariot is standing in any direction but the statue has one important uh, property that uh, the extended arm arm always pointed towards south by looking at the extended arm of the statue the emperor was able to locate direction when he went to new place on his chariot see statue was showing always south direction so wherever the emperor goes to anywhere any place then with the help of that direction that uh, statue he come to know where he has to go back to his home ha right? so the the emperor was able to locate direction when he went to new places on his chariot let us make such direction finder for ourselves so there is activity 5 is there hmm? uh the aim of the activity to show the magnets always come to rest in same direction 
Now, see, there is uh, some connection between this activity and the statue of the chariot. You will come to know why that statue was standing or showing some direction only. You will come to know after this activity. That is why this activity is very important. Okay. So, activity 5 for what? To show the magnets always come to rest in the same direction. Okay. Now, what to do for that? Take a bar magnet. Put a mark on one of its end for identification. Okay. So, we have a bar magnet. We have a bar magnet. You can see a bar magnet we have. And there is a mark. There is a mark on one side of the bar magnet. We put already. We did it. Tie a thread to a middle of the magnet. We tie a uh, this string, this thread in the middle of the magnet. You can see it is already balanced. Magnet. So that you may suspend it from a wooden stand. Okay. You can see there is a stand and uh, that bar magnet. It has been tied with the wooden stand, something like this. But as we have not wooden stand, we will do it with uh, keeping in our hand. Make sure that the magnet can rotate freely. Make sure that the magnet can rotate freely. And a magnet should rotate freely. Uh, it should not touch to anywhere. Hmm? Okay. Then, let it come to rest. Mark two points on the ground to show the position of the end of the magnet when it comes to rest. So what do we have to do? We have to suspend this magnet very freely. Anna, when it comes to rest, when it comes to rest, then what we will do? We will mark the uh, direction in which direction the magnet comes to rest or we will mark the position of the uh, magnet. Draw a Line joining two points. So we have to draw, we have to uh, point out two ends and then we have to mark, uh, join those two points. This line shows the direction in which the magnet was pointing in its position to of rest. So if we uh, mark these two ends, isn't it, on the floor and if we draw the line, then what will happen? That line will show us that in which direction the magnet come to rest. Now, rotate magnet by gently pushing one end in any direction and let it come to rest again. Mark the position of the two ends in the position of rest. Does the magnet now point in a different direction? Rotate the magnet in another direction and not the final direction. Okay, now, so we have to go for this activity two to three times and we will see whether the magnet comes to rest in the same direction or not, isn't it? So, let's go for that. See, this is the magnet. Okay, now suppose the magnet is there and let me keep this string in the middle. Okay, now see magnet is rotating very freely. You can see, isn't it? So let it come to rest, and so that we can see the direction. Okay, as it is moving very fast, it will take time. That is why what I am doing, I am okay, so that it can come to rest. Okay, you can see the direction. In which direction it is resting. Okay. Something, the direction something like this. Anna? This direction. Okay. Now let me once again rotate the magnet very freely. See, now I change the direction. It was something like this. I change the direction and let it get rest, come to rest. Okay. Once again, what happens? See. 
it is coming to the same direction can you see that it is coming to the same direction and if i will allow it to rest in rest but it will take time it may take time it may take time of 10 minutes that is why once again i am okay let's see once again see it will grow it will be in the same direction of the last time now let me gently rotate this app okay what happens let me tell you it will come to rest in the same direction okay so this will rotate again and again so okay let me keep like this once again it will come to rest in the same direction only you can see and second thing we should mark is that we mark a point over here every time this point every time this dot was in the same direction was in the same direction let it be you uh, rotate it very freely whatever it is it will come to rest in the same direction only okay okay now do you find that the magnet always come to rest in the same direction yes now can you guess the uh, mystery behind this statue in the emperor's chariot so what it was the mystery in the emperor's chariot uh, see in fact in the emperor's chariot there was a magnet that is why that extended hand was showing the direction south only Anna? okay it was why because that magnet was resting in the same direction Anna? why it is south and not we come to know let's see the textbook once again repeat this activity with an iron bar and plastic or wooden scale instead of magnet now what you will do you will repeat this activity with iron bar simple iron bar or wooden wood or the plastic cell scale do not use light light objects for this activity and avoid doing it where there are current of air okay two things you have to um, keep in your mind do not take any light object hmm? second thing the current of air should not pass through that so that yeah, we can get complete uh, perfect result we can say okay do other materials all, uh, also always come to rest in the same direction now you will do it with yourself hmm? and see that all the materials except magnet come to rest in the same direction let me tell you it will not be in the same direction but you do it with yourself okay with this we are ending this uh, part but before ending this let's go for the observation unlike other objects a magnet will always point in the same direction that is north south direction this is my north south direction this way it is north and this way it is south okay no sound direction conclusion a freely suspended bar magnet always come to rest in uh, rest in the uh, north south direction so our magnet also in this uh, position huh? and for me this direction is north this direction is north and this direction is south for me by this time where i am standing okay so with this we are ending this part we'll discuss something more about the direction uh, to find out the direction uh, and we'll meet you in the next part thank you thank you for joining us take care of yourselves and we'll meet you in the next session thank you